Hello and welcome to another game review. I'm Skill Incarnate and today we're looking at the game Tap Heroes. Tap Heroes was made by Vargat P, the same developer who made the Plantera game, which you can see here. And again, this is another cow clicker game designed for kids and a young audience. And again, I think that this is, uh, this is very well targeted towards that audience. Now, before we start the review, you'll notice that I don't have any sound. And you can see that I've disabled the sound effects and the audio. And the reason that I've done this is the same reason as for my Plantera review. The, there is a bit of a problem with the sound where it's not normalized. And I feel that the sound volume by default is far too loud compared to other games. I've tested this on a few different computers, a few different sound setups, and the, the problem seems to be uniform. But for the purpose of this review, I had to turn the sound off because even with um, even with editing the video, I still ended up getting my voice drowned out by the music and the, the sound effects. And this was compounded by the fact that I can't actually adjust the volume of the game in-game. Now... This could easily be fixed, and this is really my only gripe with the game, but that's why there is no sound for this review. And I think, again, once this is fixed, this is probably my only my only negative point with this game. Let's, let's go in and have a bit of a look, and I'll show you what the game's about. Now, we're looking at another cow clicker game, similar to Plantera, except in this instance, rather than planting farms, it's, it's mainly focused around combat. You have your hero characters on the left. You actually only start out with one, the knight character, whom you can see here. And he will constantly attack enemies, which are on the right. And on doing that, you will earn money. That money is used to upgrade your hero characters. So what we'll do is I'll show you a little bit about, the, about the, what you can use the money for, the different upgrades that you can get. So when you've earned enough money, you, you're able to upgrade either here, the powers tab, which is your um, the player's abilities. So as, as you can see, he, he is attacking automatically. You are also able to manually assist the hero by clicking on the hero to heal him, like so, or clicking on the enemies to deliver an attack. And you can see this, this will actually kill them a little bit faster. The hero will continually attack by himself, but by upgrading these powers here, the attack, the heal, and the critical powers here, you will upgrade the damage per click of the player, the amount of healing that you give to the hero on each click, like so, and the chance of a critical hit on an enemy when, you, when you're hitting them. The next tab is the heroes tab. And you have the option to upgrade each of your heroes. And you can see here that my mage is a new character. And you are able to upgrade three things on each of the heroes. The power. Uh, in, in the instance of the mage, the, these abilities will obviously change. Now, the mage is a healing class. So he just will just continually heal the, the hero. So you're able to, to upgrade the, the amount of healing that he does the speed at which he, he can cast the healing spell, and of course the, the chance to, a critic, chance of a critical heal, which means a, a, a larger heal, which is placed on the, the, main, the main knight character. In the terms of the knight, the, or the warrior, you are able to upgrade the damage that he inflicts per hit, the speed at which he attacks, the total health that he has, and the chance of a critical hit. Now finally, you are able to earn achievements. And these are also Steam achievements as well as in-game. But in, in addition to getting a Steam achievement, you will earn a, a gem, which you can see here on the left. Now, these gems are used to either purchase additional heroes, such as this, this wizard here, and also a familiar. You can also purchase a, a passive ability here, which will increase the amount of money that you make from each enemy kill and also while you're not in the game. There's also a inability which will let you you rest between levels and potions which give you a healing a one-off healing bonus. And that's it pretty much for the gameplay. You 
attack enemies, you earn money, and you use that money to upgrade your hero's abilities and also your player abilities. You're able to let the characters attack by themselves, and you can also assist them by clicking on enemies or clicking on your hero to heal them. Now, the last thing that I'll mention is that you have, in terms of gameplay, when you when you kill a certain amount of enemies on the level, you're able to transition to the next level by use of this button here. And each level changes the background and scenery, as well as the difficulty of the level. So, obviously, on, on a higher level, you'll, you'll be facing tougher enemies, higher risk, but also earning more money. And you can see here that you get different biomes, per se. There's the woods level here, and the desert. And, and there's more, more so, with, with, of course, bosses such as this guy here. Which uh, is a, a fairly tough boss, and upon killing him, you'll you'll get your 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 bonus gems, which um which I got to unlock this wizard character. So that's it as far as gameplay. Let's talk about the graphics. So this game has a very storybook feel. You can see here it, the the whole game is structured like a pop up book, with simple cardboard characters, uh, pop up windows when you transition between levels, uh, a nice background giving you the 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 feel of a, of a book. The graphics are very colourful and uh, very appealing to children, and that is the the demographic that the developer was trying to hit with this game. And I feel that he is actually managed that very well. The the, the main appeal of this game is that on Steam, there aren't a lot of games that appeal to children. And this is one of the few games that the kids can play and enjoy. The other examples I can think of is obviously Plantera, this developer's other title, and Cube Tractor, which is probably another game that I'll review at some point in the future. But yeah, as far as, as, far as, uh, as, far as graphics, for the, the, the demographic that the, the developer's trying to hit, this is the perfect the perfect style of graphic. The colourful, simple, appealing to kids. Now, the next thing I'll talk about is the replayability. There's, I feel there's a bit more replayability in this than Plantera. And the reason why is because there is a, a transition to different levels. As you go, you're able to upgrade multiple characters and also upgrade your, your own character. In Plantera, you're only able just to plant more crops or add animals, and that's pretty much it. But in this game, you do have a sense of progression. You, you, your characters do get stronger. And as you go, you're able to upgrade them and also out, the, you'll continually pile up money when you're not in the game, which you can then, it gives you the incentive to keep signing back in and spending the money to, to upgrade your characters. So, I, uh, I did actually did a test with this with some, some younger gamers, some kids, to try and see what what the level of interest was, and this game was actually a hit with, um, with kids. It's very popular, and it was far more popular than a lot of the other games that I had. So... As far as as far as uh, hitting it the target audience, this game definitely successful in that. Last of all is value for money. So this game is available on Steam for two ninety nine US for the style of game and the I suppose the, the value for money is quite good because for for that price I, I feel that's fair for for a game of this type it's it's very simple there's there's not a huge amount of, of detail in it but it it's really it, it really does one thing very well it it appeals to kids it appeals to them to the market that this developer was trying to hit so overall i give this game 7 out of 10 and the reason why i'm giving it such a high score is because it's it it fills a niche market in steam that there's not a lot of games that do I've I've tried finding games that are suitable for kids to play, and while there are some on Steam, there aren't many that that are very popular with kids. And this is one of the few games that that is definitely marketed well towards towards kids. So I recommend this game to anyone who has kids or is looking for a game that younger younger that younger players can get into because there isn't much of a learning curve here. It's very quick and easy for 
a child or a young gamer to get into and uh, there's a bit of replayability there there's a lot of incentive to keep playing the game so that they can you know level up characters apparently there are three characters that you can level up I've only got two and you can you're able to level up the abilities of all three there are around a hundred levels I've heard uh, I'm at the moment I am seven levels in I've been playing the game for about three hours so that gives you a bit of an idea of the depth of the game this this will take this will give a uh, young gamers six or seven hours of enjoyment at least and for for what the price they're asking I think that's very reasonable so that's it for this review if you enjoyed this episode please subscribe and we'll see you for the next video skill incarnate out